Hey guys, welcome back. So today I am going to go look at a horse um, for sale. And I figured I would kind of bring you guys along. I'll probably just insert kind of some of the videos and pictures that um, I take and then talk a little bit about why I'm looking at this horse and future plans for both this horse, myself, and the ZLE equestrian Team. While I'm driving to the barn, I figured I would just kind of talk about who she is and I know she, right? Who she is and just a little background on her. Her name is Ocean Blue KF. She is a registered KWPN. She just turned two years old. She stands at 15'2 right now, but like I said, she just turned two like two days ago. So she's expected to finish at about 16.1 or 16.2, which is perfect for me. Her sire, she's by Belou du Rue, who is, um, some of you may know him as P uh, Rodrigo Pessoa's jumper stallion. He has a lot of proven offspring. He, he's a wonderful stallion, wonderful stud. Her mom is Holland KF, who is by Corland. Um, who, uh, if some of you guys remember my horse Cordelay, his sire was Corland too. I absolutely loved that horse's demeanor and disposition. He was a wonderful horse. Um, so yeah, that's a little background about her breeding and such. Like I said, she is two, so um, she's registered, <clears throat> not Airby, she's fully registered, but she will not be getting scored until she's three so that we can send her through a shoot. Um, which more to come on that as well. So we're gonna go feed and then I'll catch up with you guys after I feed all the horses. All right, you guys, so let's talk about why, who, and the future. First off, why? So again, I'm looking at a two-year-old KWPN. She is quite flashy. Now, the reason I would go with her versus a gelding is because of the fail safe. I have had my fair share of accidents and incidents, um, some completely inexplicable, which blows my mind daily. But because of that, if something was to ever happen to this horse, I would have the failsafe of breeding her, um, continuously breeding, or one-time breeding, or even you know selling or leasing out as a as a broodmare, as a breed lease. Um, she has incredible bloodlines. She is put together wonderfully. She is flashy, fancy, but most importantly, has a wonderful brain. Um, she has a wonderful disposition, great demeanor. She is the perfect size for me and for many others. I'm 5'4". Um, but also, too, is she is very talented and so are her parents. So there is that option if things were to go completely awry. Why do I want a two-year-old? Well, to be quite honest, your girl's not made of money. And... Because I am where I am right now, I feel comfortable spending this amount of money on a horse, but I don't want to put all my eggs in one basket because I know better than anyone that horses will find a way to hurt themselves and even sometimes as a realist, die. So I don't want to invest my life savings in something overseas that I've never seen, I've never sat on, or buy something made. I would much rather have something young that I have to produce myself. And let's say in a couple years, I decide, you know, that this isn't the horse for me. Just the year or two that I've invested will significantly increase her worth. Um, and if nothing goes wrong, I most likely would be able to get my money out and some more. So that's another thing to think about. As far as external 
whys, like why would I, what, what has prompted me to do this? Well, D is retired. Troy maxes out. Zinn has one eyeball. <laughs> I don't want to put all my eggs in one basket that he's going to do anything over 120 or even be a happy show horse. And it's not fair of me to put that pressure on Justin. So I want to make sure that there is an option for me other than that. As far as client horses, I have quite a few clients riding right now. It's not just me training all the horses, um, which is wonderful. But, you know, some of the other horses that I jump bigger on, like Checkers, he's 14. He has an owner. I don't show him. Remington, I, you know, I will be showing him some. I don't think he's going to be a 140 horse by any means. But he also has an owner. He's not mine. And Callie will be stepping down. So as you start looking at the field around me, um, as selfish as it sounds, I'm quite limited and I'm starting to go on the decline. So by getting a two-year-old, it gives me really two years to see what Zinn's potential is. Zinn just turned seven. So as a nine-year-old, I will kind of see, even next year, I will really see what direction we're going. Is he going to be happy showing? Is he going to... Um, really go to the next level is he going to be happy just at 120 or even at just 110 or not showing at all it gives me a couple years to really figure that out and um for a young horse regardless of it's, if it's this horse or or any young horse that I will be getting eventually um it really gives me time to instill everything I want in my own horse. Quite frequently, I get horses secondhand, um, you know, from the racetrack or from a home after the racetrack. And there's a lot to fix, a lot to fix. And that's quite difficult with some horses. Um, if they have a lot of bad habits or bad behaviors or just things that are completely missing. Um, take Troy, nine years of abuse and breaking him as an almost 10 year old. Like, if he was started at three, he would be a much different horse. Even two, you know, instilling groundwork and desensitizing, he'd be a very, very, very different horse today. So I want to take that journey with um, a young horse, but I'm not really looking at foals and yearlings because that's a little bit too much investment for a realistic I don't know, you know, financial endeavor. Um, I don't want to be investing four years before I'm jumping a cross rail if I get a full, um, because that's like 40,000 at least, if not $50,000 in board for four years. So um, at that point, you might as well save for four years and then buy something because it's not a guarantee even when the horse comes for. So, short story really really long um that's kind of why i'm going this route um also i've i've looked at quite a few horses i'm still going to look at a few other horses um this one stands out to me again one because her breeding is amazing um but also she is very flashy so she's not just your typical bay Mare, bay gelding with minimal chrome. She she is something, and that in itself um, really catches people att people's attention, and it, and it sets her apart. So that's kind of the outlook with her. Now for the future, I still very much want to do thoroughbreds the way I'm doing them. I absolutely love it more than anything in this world, but I do want to be competitive at maybe not a top level but an upper level. Um, I've never had the goals. I mean, I've, I've, I've definitely thought about it and, and been envious, I guess, of those that do show at a top level, but it's really not realistic for the direction I want to go with my career and my life. So this horse also potentially could open, um, you know, open a door to maybe breeding on a larger scale than one horse a year. You know, it could start with this and, and exponentially grow. So um, that gives me some, some hope as well. But 
just kind of a lot of things running through my head um, as far as potentials and the direction I want to go. Anyway, I'm just around the corner now. I was just waiting. It was a little bit early for my appointment time and I'm gonna head over there and then we can check her out. super nice baby. She was a little bit more affordable, but um, not really what I was looking for. And then I also looked at this very, very nice um, 2021 baby that was uh, full. It was a month old, who was a Glasgow Harley. And I love the VDL horses, so I'm a little partial to that and dark bays she's really really nice really really nice but again she's a month old so might be a little young for what I'm going for um have a lot to think about and I'm definitely gonna mull over some things and gonna go from there there is another horse that I potentially want to look at I do really like the horse that I just saw but, um, yeah, lots to think about. So I'm gonna head back to the barn now and finish up on my day. Thank you guys for coming along with me and I will keep you updated on this fun little horse shopping journey. And hopefully we have a new addition to the barn very, very soon. So I'll see you guys all soon.